you know I gotta get the, get the <laughs> wheels on. I finally got these things freaking back. Hey, beautiful. Hey, Work they kind of fit because we we're trying to test it out, and make sure like <clears throat> there's different offsets, and these are like actually a narrower, narrower uh, rim. They're like 18 by eight, and my Meisters are like by like 18 by 10 or something like that. But I can't find, you know, you can't find like, you can't buy these anymore. So this is the only thing that I got. But this is the first test fit to see if they work with the spacers I got. Because I didn't know if they're going to... They fit pretty good, right? Yeah, they fit like, really good. Like if you look right here down it, you see it? Oh, yeah. Like it doesn't... I thought it was going to be like... Dude, it's going to be like a perfect fit. Uh, like literally, like it's 100% it's perfect. <laughs> Gotta get the wheels, man. man oh, the rotaries. Well, you can see the old rims on that side. Yeah, yeah, it's true. We got half and half. <laughs> Yo. Have you seen those cars I've seen? Like we'll wrap half the car in one color and the other half. We'll just keep it paint. <laughs> Dude. Uh, if you guys are wondering, yes, these are real workmeisters. <laughs> these are work. Let's see what it looks like. Tough. Come on. Mine's more. Mine's more. I think. Back with a little lower, yeah. You might have to lower a little more, but I don't know if I would with that Kevlar front lip. It's true. You know, it's not. Sometimes it's not worth. It's not worth the uh, that, that super look? super low look because it's not really functional. But it's looking pretty uh, promising right now. That that it's like, oh man, that fitment could have been any better. Damn. I, I love that feel. That's like <laughs> perfect, bro. You don't Dang. have to do nothing. It <laughs> rocks. Dude. I don't have to. I mean, they're. They're like. I mean, unless you want to go like stream tuck, like. Yeah. I don't stance know. or whatever. I think the freaking. The. How it sits. <clears throat> that's so doable like that. Right? You can go over speed bumps and not worry about destroying your. That's true. Kind of like, like to that's why it's like, uh, and you got you got the diffuser in the rear too, so it's like even more of a. Uh. Yeah, but, you know, I thought these were. I got like a two feet gap. I know everyone's like you know slammed the hell out of it, but. Nah, I kind of, kind of killed the car doing all that. Destroy the yeah, bottom of the car. Yeah, that's why I No, yeah, yeah, <laughs> imagine it. Oh, it works. Woo. On one side. <laughs> of course, we're not keeping it this way. <laughs> Ooh, those look fancy on the other side. Dude, they look really good. Like, they... Kind of stuff. Uh, we re-powder re coated these. <laughs> With the Ad Mal sticker. We did new Dude, got shout out to, the, to you guys for freaking hooking up that sticker. <laughs> yeah, sure. those are custom by, done by freaking... Carlos Chris and Carlos. Um... Um, I can't, I can't say, oh, Ricky, Ricky also helped. Yeah, Ricky at Filmworks? Ricky at Filmworks, yep, and Dan, he's actually the guy that did it all on, on Ricky's computer, but yeah, he, he did, they did a freaking awesome it's job. Sickness. The red almost, is almost uh, pretty close to... Yeah, literally, they're color. trying to match it, I know you guys are trying to do that. Yeah, we were, we were trying to, we were looking at pictures and stuff, and he had a couple different vinyls, but yeah, dude, it looks, it looks freaking amazing. What's up, guys? Uh, Mike here again. Um, Prepping my RX-7, trying to get some finishing touches on it. Um, gonna go out and do a podcast. So, you see this huge eyesore? <laughs> I really don't like this part about the, um, you know, the bumper or whatever like that. But um, I got something that makes it a less of an eyesore, kind of cool, adds a finishing touch. Uh, like I said, I wanted majority of it just to fit well, and it does fit well, but... Uh, everyone does this. You guys probably seen it. So I'm going to go ahead and do the process of covering this up with uh, the specialty RX-7 plate. So watch out. So here it is, guys, the infamous RX-7 plate that goes on to right here. Uh, it makes it less of an eyesore. I, I still, it's, it's, I don't like it, um, but it makes it look better. So uh, I need to put the hardware on there, and then I'm probably going to put like uh, some double-sided tape so it doesn't like rattle around and hit the bumper, do anything like that. So put some foam tape in the back to make sure this kind of dampens it. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get to work. All right, one of the last finishing touches, we need an emblem. We got those empty slots right there. Go ahead and we have the cool little alignment holes. Easy. Let me put this on real quick. It has guiding holes in it. Uh, 
I got another goodie that came in the mail. Hopefully, um, it will clear everything. Because with the rotary, and it has a custom um, Blitz intercooler kit. I don't know if it's going to reach over everything. And the um, also the uh, air filters. Hopefully, the strut bar can clear everything. But go ahead and install it. All right. Strut bar is in. Uh, I just don't know where to put that sticker. I gotta go look on the internet, see where they put it. What up, guys? We're in the Oryx 7. You're on the wrong side. I'm on the wrong side of the road. I feel so awkward right now. It's all good. It's all good. You guys can see. Driving through the hood. <laughs> For real. Trying to get to a, uh, an, a podcast so we are going to. If you guys. A lot of people are like, why are you riding the clutch on the FD? And I'm like, it's, it's not a stock clutch. It's actually, it's like a twin disc. So it's noisy. It's a noisy, uh, a noisy twin disc. But this thing is like, has no like low, like no low end torque at all. So if you let go, it'll, it'll boom, jump <laughs> up on you. So. Man, I love the sounds this thing makes. Yeah, it has that weird flutter sound. Yeah, yeah, the turbo has like a <laughs> really nice. No, I mean like people, up. some people hate it because it's like, oh, you know, they just want that big thing, but it's like iconic. It's that iconic blow off valve, yeah, for sure. It's because it, mine doesn't. I can't really hear mine. Mine doesn't really make much noise. It doesn't make that noise. I think it's because my exhaust is so loud. It's true. <laughs> I don't have no, no muffler, no resonator. It's a straight, just three inch all the way rear, so it sounds really loud. <laughs> This thing is full, just taking two lanes up. I don't care. <laughs> Go, like, why are you signaling like you're not in the middle? Like, we don't know you're not in the middle. <laughs> now, road rage at its finest when you're driving this oh, beautiful see, RX-7. See, look at this. See, look at this. See, look at this. See, see. Oh my god, he's got turn signal on, but I see what he's doing. He's making left. He's going super wide. Oh, right he's got to drop it off to the Greyhound station, that's why. Little spot downtown. place before like I never parked in side of a It's funny because uh, uh, YouTube, a lot of the viewers, they think it's like, like some of the stuff we do is like yeah. fake. Yeah. And I'm like, because we have a used oil in it. Yeah. We put used oil in it. <laughs> a used head gasket. <laughs> and people are like, no, no, they just did it for views. It, it's, yeah, it's, yeah. it's all, no, no. And I'm like, we, no, no, we really did it. It's fun. And yeah. it's pink too. Yeah. It's pink. It's ridiculous. Yeah. It, it just totally looks ridiculous, but it, it moves. Yeah. It moves. Boom. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Dude, it had the creepy the lights. View, the, the view, the light is the, awesome. It had the creepy, like, ghoulish view, but we're at Durst Studios out here, uh, downtown Las Vegas, in front of these cool beautiful Porsches. Porsche, or Porsche, I should say. Porsche? We got the RX-7. Porsche. 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 Um, it's a great, we just got interviewed here and just talking about cars and learning about Porsches. I got my beautiful FD Mark 7 here. It's just the lighting, right? The lighting, the lighting just the makes light. it I'm look amazing. sick, though, right? Yeah. It just okay. makes like it make, like I didn't think the car looked that good. I was like, "Damn, this thing is good. Oh, it has a good." Great. This thing <laughs> looks so sick. But yeah, this is uh, uh, all about like Vegas car culture and stuff like that. So we got invited. Um, what do you think? What do you think? Oh, I love it, dude. This is this is awesome. It's a uh, it's a little bit of everything, you know. We got diverse, I guess, uh, Porsche content. Or Porsche, I'm sorry. Porsche! Porsche. Porsche. I gotta get that. Porsche. Uh. Is that the... <laughs> I want to be like the, not, like the Porsche Nazi now. Every time we're like... <laughs> Did you say Porsche? <laughs> Did you say Porsche? Oh, you want to introduce yourself? Introduce yourself. Hey, how you doing? Ah, introduce us to the channel. Uh, so, my name is uh, JP, and uh, we publish a channel 
uh, a YouTube channel called Dur Fascination. So tell us <laughs> what the inspiration <laughs> was the Dur Studio. So Dur Studio is uh, is basically another uh, angle for the. So Dur Fascination, uh, we publish films about the owners of classic Porsches. Uh, kind of like Petrolicious makes mm -hmm. films about uh, classic cars. We're all about the classic Porsche specifically. Uh, and uh, we just wanted to find a way that we could make more content. Uh, mm -hmm. Because our films, we put a lot of time and effort in, in going out and making these beautiful films. I'm going to put a link, yeah, put a link down below do. to yeah, the DeFrostNation.com uh, and also the DeFrostNation on YouTube channel. But anyways, uh, yeah, so we put a lot of time into making these films, um, but, you know, people want more content. You know about that. Always. Hungry. You guys get that. You know, people always want to see more DOA. Mike, come on. Who doesn't want to see more DOA, Mike? Uh, so we decided, hey, we love, we're big fans of Joe Rogan and those guys. Uh, so we thought we'd kind of set up a studio similar to that and make our own uh, podcast that we can do a couple of these a week uh, with guests like uh, yourself. Hey. Uh, so thanks for coming on the Dura or Die podcast. Um, and uh, so we're going to do more of that. We're going to do more vlogging like you guys are doing. Uh, so, yeah, please check out the channel. And uh, if you're in Las Vegas in the Arts District, come down and visit us. Awesome. Yeah. So he, he JP told me something very, that, that like tingled my ear. He tingled said, his ear. He said, have you ever driven a Porsche? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever true. driven he a Porsche? He didn't say it like that. He said Porsche. Have you ever driven a Porsche? I said, I have not. And he's like, you will. By the end, before the end of this year, you will. And I'm like, oh, what? <laughs> they're, laser, they're already laser cut. Key. They're on laser. They're well, this, is, this is for a new one. This is a 997. It's not that 993, but uh, I don't have the keys to that on me. He said, but, you, uh, he said you will. And then, and then he, he said, yeah. he, and then I said, you ever driven? He's like, I've never driven a right-handed drive car. I was like, you will. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared of that. You I am actually will. genuinely terrified. You will. So I'm excited. Uh, so look forward. I, I might be having a video of us. Uh, it's like, like almost like a... What was that, J like Jerry Seinfeld one? Com 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 comedians and coffee? Comedians and cars, cars getting and coffee. coffee. Yeah, but he never lets anyone drive his cars, though. That's oh. hilarious. He Which bugs the crap out of him. They're all yeah. his cars? They're not all his cars, no, but he but he's always the driver in his uh, film. So yeah, great yeah. studio, guys. Hey, thanks, man. Uh, thanks for is, being here. This is awesome. Totally awesome. Um, next video is going to be me driving Porsche. <laughs> <laughs> and so maybe buying one. <laughs> time you see this car in one piece. I don't know. <laughs> hopefully, uh, hopefully not. Be careful. I'll be careful. I'd be more worried about this one. And I'll be careful. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how to handle that, that <laughs> rear engine. I don't know. But. Yeah.